So, today I want to go ahead and review the Trilobite versus Engineer Battle Damage figure from NECA. And I guess, as I see from the package, this looks like this was a Toys R Us exclusive. I don't really remember because, as you may know, these figures came out when Prometheus came out. So, that was a couple of years ago now. So, yeah. Um, I gotta say right away when I get this out of the package, as always, you can never go wrong with NECA. These figures are amazing. The detail, the scale, you know, the scope, how big this trilobite is, is, is insane. Um, you know, this is pretty much to kind of wrap, you know, to make it fit when it's inside the box. But once you get this big um, trilobite creature out of the box and you start sp spreading his legs or arms, whatever you want to call it, you really see the scale on how big this figure really is. And as you see here, you see how big he is next to the engineer. And as you, as some of you may know by now, when it comes to NECA figures, they do seven-inch figures. You know, that's the main thing that they they do. So comparing that seven-inch uh, figure engineer next to the trilobite, then you really see how big this trilobite really is. Um, right now, so I want to go ahead and talk about the the details. As always, you can never go wrong when it comes to details, thanks to NECA. NECA never really does anything wrong when it comes to details. They know how to do this. They know how to do details very, very well. And I am, you know, I, I get more surprised, late, you know, more and more because lately I've been going kind of back, you know, to getting figures that are a little older from NECA, like this Prometheus figures. Um, the reason why I'm got this figure right here is because I'm a huge fan of Prometheus I really love the movie uh, I cannot wait for Alien Covenant which pretty much is a sequel to Prometheus and I am also trying to collect this whole wave you know from NECA to get ready for the Lost Wave and what I'm talking about is that the Lost Wave is pretty much the figures from Prometheus that never got released and you know it's funny because I did ask NECA myself on Twitter I, about a couple months ago, you know, whatever happened to Elizabeth Sean from from the Prometheus movie because they did show the figures in some of the, you know, like Toy Fair and some of the cons, but we never got any release for them. But they are finally coming out. Um, the rumors are that there are they are probably coming out around April or March. So yeah, we just have to wait for that. Um, and that's one of the main reasons I'm going back searching from for Prometheus figures and I, I believe so far the only one that I'm missing is the Deacon but the Deacon goes for like easily 70 to 80 dollars and I just don't really see myself spending that much money when it comes to a 7 inch figure so yeah maybe I'll give it time and hopefully it goes down or, or hopefully NECA will release these figures again you know when they released the last wave in stores so I am hoping for that but yeah anyways let's just go ahead and you know and talk about the details on this trilobite I hope I'm saying that right but anyways uh, as you see here you see the face or, or the mouth whatever you want to call it uh, he comes with that you know stick whatever thing comes out of his mouth in the movie and you know that's the thing that come that goes inside the engineer's mouth for you know for the engineer to pretty much get him pregnant and and, and after that you as you may know by now you know something else happened uh, even though this movie is old uh, I don't want to spoil what, what happens next because you know I'm guessing a lot of people haven't seen this movie because there's a lot of people that follow critics or reviews. I don't even know why people do that. Have your own opinion and check out the movie yourself before talking crap about it. Uh, it it's, you know, it's just a lot of crazy to me because this movie had got a lot of hate. But the moment I saw it, you know, I went to the theaters maybe a couple of weeks after the movie came out. And there was just horrible reviews out there. But then when I got to see the movie, I was... I was confused on why this movie got so much hate because this movie is, is just, in my opinion, is a great movie. But anyways, you see the details here. You see how, how big and the scale uh, this thing is. And also the details on the engineer. I really like how he gave, you know, the en uh, I, I really like how NECA gave details to the engineer's face to make a, 
to make him look just how he looks in the scene from the movie, which he has like his face is like half burned, and um, you know he has the mouth open, and you can even see the detail inside his mouth with his, you know his teeth and all that. It's just things like that really amaze me on you know on how NECA really does detail and and you know they go crazy with all that. So. Yeah, I really love NECA because they try to do their best with details and, you know, 7-inch figures. And it's the way I see it is, it's like you, if you collect, it's like collecting expensive figures. But at the same time, you know, it's figures that are not really expensive. Uh, you know, I hope that makes sense. It's like, you know, these figures go for like easily, you know, $20, $25 and sometimes a lot of more when it comes to these 2-pack figures like this one. But they're still a very good price. You know, you can compare that, compare that to figures like Hot Toys and things like that. I, I do know that Hot Toys are a little bit more pricey because they're, they're just, you know, the scale of those figures are bigger. And, you know, they have even more detail and, and more accessories and things like that. But as, as of myself, I don't really like figures that are big. I, you know, I guess I'm used to 7-inch figures. Or, or you know even smaller but yeah I, I mean I wouldn't you know I'm not talking crap about hot toys because I wouldn't mind having a couple of hot toys figures later on you know but not anytime soon uh, but so yeah let me know what you think about this uh, Prometheus figure I do know that this figure is all but the reason why I'm doing this review is because I'm getting ready for the last way and I'm also getting ready for the Alien Covenant figures, which NECA has confirmed that they're also making figures for that movie. And I cannot wait for that. So yeah, again, let me know what you think about this figure. Let me know uh, if you do have it. Let me know what you like about it. Or if you don't have it, I really do recommend this figure. Uh, you can search online. You can probably find it for like around $40 around, uh, on Amazon. Um, if you ask me, that's not bad at all because that's pretty much the normal price for when these figures came out. So for it to still be on that on that same price years later, then yeah, you should get it. But anyways, thank you everyone for watching my videos. Have a good one.